Good morning, Bombers. I'm Kylan Heck, and this is Atomic TV. Welcome back from another school closure. I hope you guys all had a good day off and started studying for finals since they were pushed back a week. Cheer and Dance had a competition last weekend. Let's go check it out. Hey, Bombers. I'm Brandy Andrews, and I'm here with Jessa. So I heard you guys had a cheer competition this weekend. How did it go? Um, it went pretty well. We scored about 15 points higher than our last competition, which is good. Yeah, that's good. Um, how do you guys prepare for your competitions and like what cheer you guys are going to do at them? Well, we have like practices until 7 o'clock every day to prepare, so we practice a lot. So if a student and staff wanted to come support you, how could they support you at your competitions? Well, we have a competition this Saturday up at Moses Lake. It's about 9 o'clock, so if you guys want to make the drive up, that would be great. Okay, thank you. Now back to the studio. Hey Bombers, I'm Brandy Andrews and I'm here with Grace. So, how did your competition go this last week? Our competition went really good. We got three first places in everything we competed in. How did you prepare for your competition? Um, we practiced a lot, like three times a week. Um, when is your next one so you can prepare for that one? Our next one is next weekend and it's here at the high school. Okay, now back to the studio. Attention all Knowledge Bowl members. With the lack of Mondays these last couple weeks, we'll be meeting during lunch in Mrs. Stroop's room for these next two Fridays. Our next competition is in early February, so see you guys all tomorrow. Now stay tuned for a sports recap. Hi, I'm Renee Merritt. I'm here with Tyler Kurtz. So, what was it like being a rival on Friday? Uh, it's great. It's always super fun to be hampered. Every time. So Saturday, um, what was your most memorable moment in the game? Uh, the most memorable moment on Saturday was probably dunking on um, Mike and that was so, fun. So what are your goals for this year? Uh, we're going to win state. That's our goal. Win state. It's always the goal. Thank you. Of course, it's Renee Mara here. I'm here with Cole. So, when was your last meet? We had the Kent Ridge Invite in Federal Way, Washington. It was two Saturdays ago and it was a really big meet. Do you win? I got a first and a second and was one of the top scorers. Our team as a whole did pretty good. We have a pretty young team this year and it's a lot more quality over quantity and we're trying to rebuild. I feel you. Yeah. So how do you get, how do you prepare for a meet? Like what's your like do you like run a lot, you swim a lot, you know? Do a lot of conditioning? <laughs> we do like uh, about two hours of practice every day and just we swim every single day and just repetition. So what's your goals for this year? I want to place very well at state and want to get good college offers. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Camry. So, you guys went Friday? Yes. What points you drop? 19. So, what are your goals for the season? Um, I hope to make it to the playoffs. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. So, are you guys excited to play Chihuahua? Yes. What are you going to do to them? Well, I think we'll win if we play as a team and work hard. Will you look for me in the stands? Yes. The February 10th Tola date has been postponed due to a conflict with the two-day wrestling tournament that's been scheduled. Stay tuned for more info on when the new date will be. The last day to vote in the ASB election is today and tomorrow. Log in to www.tallyspace.com slash vote slash 4316 to vote. Now here's a couple words from our current ASB treasurer. Hey Bombers, I'm Austin Hartley here today with Adrian Ng, our current ASB treasurer, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what her job is at our school. Well, as an ASB treasurer, um, all of the purchases made through the school, whether it be in a club or a sport or from an administrator, they all have to be signed off by um, me, the ASB treasurer, uh, Mr. Qualheim, and Mr. Edwards. So, you guys never need to buy anything. <laughs> She's your girl. <laughs> so through your experiences as an ASB officer, what are some qualifications you think the new upcoming officers should have? Well, as a leader of the school, people should be, shouldn't have to be outgoing or visible, but more open to ideas and suggestions made by other people. Um, the point of being a leader is finding the best for the greater good, so, you know, doing what's best for the school and putting others before yourself. Thank you for your time. Back to the studio. Have a splendid day, Bombers. Now please stand for the pledge.